Hey, what's up guys? It's George. And in this video, I want to address a question that was just asked to me a little bit ago. I had someone who reached out to me and they said, what do you do when you find yourself all in your head and, and, and obsessing over getting a fix, obsessing over looking for a substance to change your state? And essentially, what do you do when uh, you, know, you find yourself in a, in a less than ideal state, you know, just in a funk, you know, in a uh, uh, you know, lack of motivation, uh, you know, just in a low energy type of state? And I thought that this was something really key and something important that I wanted to address here in the video because uh, um, our state, in large, has, uh, has a big part to do with the outcome of our life. And if we're not careful, our state and our emotions can uh, can drive us all over the place, and uh, uh, and can throw us and can and, and can get us to make decisions that are out of alignment with what we would we would truly like for the outcome of our lives. Um, um, and so, uh, uh, so this is something that that I learned years ago through through Tony Robbins. I went through uh, many of his seminars and. Uh, um, and, and his courses and, and, and read all of his books and audios and so I got to give credit where credit is due uh, that I learned from Tony Robbins about this triad of meaning these are the three this is the three things that uh, um, that dictates our state and for those of you that aren't familiar with what a, um, a state is a state is essentially how we feel you know we all know that uh, uh, you know we all know what it's uh, you know th those moments when we just feel like we can take on the world when we have so much energy and uh, you know we just feel unstoppable well that's peak state that's what you want to have most consistently throughout your life because then uh, you know you'll have the energy and the drive to be able to do what it is that you want to do in your life and then on the opposite you know we've all had those moments where you know we barely been able to get out of bed in the morning you know it's our energy is real low and we can we can't find the motivation to to do what we need to do for the life of us um, uh, and that's you know having a low state um, but and, and see there are three things that uh, that dictate our state and what's great about having this awareness is just by simply having this awareness of the three things that control our state that allows that gives you back your power and allowing you to, uh, uh, to to know what you need to do to change your state like that so that you can get back into that peak state and get back into that those feel good emotions so that you can start having the energy and the drive and the motivation to do what it is you need to do. So I'm going to break down the three things uh, of this triad of meaning uh, that, that, that dictates our state uh, um, and, I'll, and I'll break down each one of them. So, um, so the three things that dictate our state is our physiology. The la our language and what we're focusing on. So start first with uh, our, our physiology. So a lot of times when I find myself in a less than ideal state, um, uh, uh, you know, a, a low energy, low motivation type of a state, and the first things that I'll look at is my f physiology. How is my physiology at this moment? And a lot of times, you know, I'll find that, you know, maybe I've been sitting down too long, we've been like crunched over driving, and, and my, my, my physiology is all kind of compressed. And if you think about, uh, uh, and what I want to do is I want to I, I want to find a way to express my physiology. If you think about depression, the very opposite of the word of depression is expression. And so I try to immediately think of what I can do to uh, um, to change my physiology to be more expressive and to to get that 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 uh, that energy flowing through my physiology. So uh, I have a rebounder trampoline in my room. Maybe I'll go uh, and I also have a trampoline outside so sometimes I'll just go uh, uh, just jump on my trampoline for like five minutes I'll listen to uh, one of my favorite songs and get all pumped up and you know shoot some of my affirmations and I'm doing this to change my physiology uh, or, or I'll go for a quick run you guys know how I run every single day so you know sometimes I'll just but you know from real low energy I'll just go run and then immediately always afterwards I, I, I feel so much better so the uh, so so you want to Take a look at what your physiology is, and a lot of times you will find that your physiology is, can, is, is, is in alignment with that of being more of a depressive type of a state. You probably haven't been as physically active, and, it's, and, and that's why it's good to recognize this, because then you can immediately take action, even if you don't feel like it, but to take the action to change your physiology. Go exercise, go for a walk, or run, some yoga, um, go jump up and down, start you know, practicing laughter, yoga, whatever you gotta do you know, to, to change that physiology. Uh, so, the, so the next thing is language. Uh, uh, language is so powerful. It can either empower us or disempower us. Uh, and a lot of times, our language unconsciously is disempowering. You know, you wake up in the morning, oh, God, you know, another day, oh, I'm looking so old, you know, oh, I'm getting fat, you know, oh, you know, this sucks, oh, I can't wait till Friday, oh, it's only Monday, it's only, and, uh, and we use this language unconsciously all throughout the day that is very disempowering, and so you want to take a mental check, how has your language been? 
you know, as, and, and, you, and then you can consciously start to change your, your language, even if it doesn't feel like you really mean it. But uh, the, the mind has a very difficult time separating between fact and fiction. So as you cha consciously change your language to be more empowering, like, yes, you know, today's a great day. You know, today I'm going to meet the right people at the right time for the betterment of all. Ah, you know, uh, uh, life is always happening for me, not to me. I'm energetic. Yes, uh, energy flows to me with abundance. Opportunities flow to me with abundance. Ah, what a wonderful day. And you start changing your language, then all of a sudden, again, that's also a second uh, uh, another component in what dictates our state and then the third thing is our focus and this is why um, you know I did a video not too long ago about what I do, why I don't watch the news because what you are one of the uh, um, I, I've read books on brainwashing and I find it so fascinating one of the keys in brainwashing uh, in mind control in brainwashing is, is is controlling education controlling the education that someone receives now, you may not realize it, but you're constantly receiving education. You receive education uh, through what we're seeing visually on the TV, internet, so forth. We're receiving education through uh, um, our auditory senses, what we're hearing on the music, what we're listening to, um, uh, what we're sensing and, and feeling throughout the world. So we're constantly being educated and being brainwashed, mind control, if you will. And so the key is to, to, to mind control and brainwash yourself so that it's empowering. Uh, to you know, Maybe you've been focusing, if you find yourself in a low, uh, ener low energy state, uh, less than ideal state, you know, maybe you've been focusing too much on the, uh, on the constant negative news, you've been watching the negative news too much, you've been watching about you know, the shooting that just happened, or, or you've been focusing uh, um, uh, on, on you know, some stressful situation that just happened on work or, or you know focusing on you know some drama that's going on with this and so uh, uh, immediately when I find myself in a less I'll, uh, again one of the keys is I'll try to change what I am that I'm focusing on so maybe I'll listen to uh, you know a motivational speech or maybe I'll listen to uh, um, a self-improvement audio book or or I'll, or I'll start reading a book you know something that I'm that's uh, uh, um, gonna empower me and that I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna and I'm gonna feel better about um, but by taking control of those three things, you can change your state like that. I've been practicing this for years and it's amazing. I find it just, uh, just mind-blowing how quickly you can change your state. I've been times where, um, uh, and just recently actually, I had a, um, a situation where I didn't go to sleep for, uh, I didn't sleep for, for about two days straight. A uh, whole long story, but uh, I remember I was so exhausted uh, and I had to get, um, I had a wedding that I had to do and all this thing. And so I immediately started, jumped in my rebound trampoline. I was snapping, doing my uh, my affirmations, my incantations. Uh, I, I was, I was uh, I, I, and then afterwards I was listening to my audio book, listening to something really empowering. Uh, and just like that, I couldn't believe it. it felt as if I had had a triple espresso, but just by, 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 by changing my physiology, making it more expressive, getting out there, pumping my physiology up, by, 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 by taking control of the language that I was using and speaking more empowering language, and then changing what it was that I was focusing on, boom, immediately, regardless of the lack of sleep, I was in a peak state just like that, and I crushed it when a, a, a phenomenal wedding. So this is so key, because like I was saying, uh, if you're not careful, then, uh, um, then, then, you know, you can you can end up in a in a less than than ideal state, and you can end up making less than ideal decisions. You know, and it's so easy to just resort to taking a substance or something to change your state. But if you can learn how to. Uh, how to unleash the power within, how to um, uh, take advantage of that magic within you and use uh, your own awareness and your intelligence to change your state, then that's powerful because that's something that you can, uh, you, can, you can take back your power and your control and not have to worry about resorting to taking a drug or a substance or something to, to change your, your, uh, your state that will have long-term negative consequences. Um, so, uh, so guys, it's the triad of meaning, and again, just to break it down, it's uh, um, uh, what controls the outcome of our state is our, our, our physiology, our language, and our focus, what we are focusing on. <laughs> so I hope you all having a great day, guys. Until next time, guys, let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.